Welcome back to Development Division. This is Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to change your turn signal stock on your Jeep JK. There's only three tools that we need, so let's go ahead and get into it. A Phillips head screwdriver, a T20 screwdriver, and a 10 millimeter wrench to take off your battery. Open the hood and remove the negative terminal from the battery. To remove the plastic surrounding the steering column, remove the three T20 torque screws. Here's our multi-function turn signal switch here. There's a Phillips head screw holding it in. Remove that. And then from there, this should slide out. There are some wired connectors here on the top on both the steering wheel side and kind of closer to the gauge cluster here. So I'm gonna remove these. There's a little tab here, pull that off and then we'll just remove this tab here. Let's take a look at the old versus the new. They look exactly the same all the way around. The old one is getting replaced because the right turn signal doesn't really lock into place like it should. Here's the new one for reference. See how it stays up? The old one just kind of to the right. If you get it just right and you're kind of gentle with it, it will stay in place, but this is the original. That is getting replaced today with our new unit. Has everything else that's exactly the same. All the graphics are the same, except these look brand new. These have been wiped off. So let's head back to the Jeep and install it. There's a little groove here that aligns with the groove on our new turn signal. And that needs to line up. First, I'm gonna plug in my electrical connectors, the white one in the back. Make sure you get that click. I don't know if that's it all the way. There we go. Okay, got both of those wired up and hooked up. So now I just need to line up these grooves. There's one on the bottom as well. So this kind of just locates this switch. Slide it in there. That's a good interference fit. Get a Phillips head screw that we removed earlier. Make sure that's tight. Cool. And now we need to refit the clamshell that goes around the steering column. Start off with that top piece, this bottom piece going. And remember these snap together, so we want to keep our ears open for that, that clicking sound. A little tricky to get it around where the key goes in, but we got it. That seat. There you go. There's tabs in the back here as well, these two back corners and kind of along around the stocks. So make sure those snap into place. I'll lock my steering wheel back in place. And then I'm just going to replace the three T20 screws that we removed uh, first. Alright, there we go, new turn signal stock. 